guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how to do this easy makeup look this is definitely my go-to look when I leave the house which it's pretty much never but when I do leave the house um, this was would be what I would put on it's just super simple it takes me probably about 20 minutes um, to get everything done which is pretty quick and it's just super simple I use one palette um, by dose of colors the Desi X Katie palette as well so if you want to see how to get this look let's go ahead and start the video but today I'm doing my go-to makeup look so anytime I leave the house which is not very often um, this is what I use for makeup um, it's a little bit like more than what I would wear to work so I guess if I was to go out for dinner or something like that this is what I would wear so these will be all my favorite products and everything I use on a daily basis so I'm going to be using to prime my face the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. So this one's going to fill pores and it's also going to help um, if you have oily skin. So I tend to get quite oily throughout the day so I do like using this because it's going to help keep my oils at bay. So I have two favorite foundations. Number one, my first favorite foundation is a L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible Foundation. Um, this one is in shade 202. I've been using this for years. I've probably purchased like close to 20 different um, units of these. Like I love, love, love it. And I have oily skin. It definitely doesn't make me oily even though it's glowy. Like it makes me look very healthy. And then the other foundation I like to use is the Fenty um, Pro Filter Foundation. This one is going to give you like a very matte look. If you have dry skin at all, I would not suggest this. A lot of people actually really don't care for this foundation, but it's definitely one of my favorites. So today I'm actually going to mix the two, which is kind of counterproductive because one is matte and one is glowy, but I do like the way that they look when um, they're mixed together. So I'm going to use a beauty blender. And I'm going to pounce this into the skin. Believe it or not, I did self tan last night. I am still the color of printer paper. I'm always going to bring this down my neck as well. Okay, so next I'm going to conceal. So I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. And this one's in the shade 1N. So 1N I think is the lightest. Um, and it has a neutral undertone. So I'm just going to place this underneath my eyes. Creating a little bit of a triangle. And then I tend to get quite dark in my eye, in between my eyes. I'm gonna put this down the bridge of my nose as well as in the center of my face. And I'm just gonna blend this out with my beauty blender. Next, I'm going to cream contour. So I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush. I don't even know. It's a sculpting brush, I guess. It's slanted, so it makes it really nice to fit right into the contours of your face. So I'm just going to put this on the hollows of my cheeks, on my jawline, and up on my forehead, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the sculpting brush to blend everything out. The nice thing about this one, this one's Charlotte Tilbury, what is this even called? The Hollywood Contour Wand, is that it does blend out really easily. I do really like the Charlotte Tilbury one, but that's expensive. I'm going to cream bronze. This is an expensive product. <laughs> um, it has lasted me a very long time. It's definitely expired at this point. But I still have a lot left and I use this pretty much every day. No joke. 
and I've had it for probably two years which is crazy but it's good because it was $80 <laughs> and it is the Chanel Soleil de Tan so it's a cream bronzer very expensive very bougie but my opinion very worth it so this is what it looks like I'm gonna use that exact same brush I'm just gonna go in and put this right in the hollows of my cheeks it's also gonna help my face look a little bit slimmer and it's gonna give me some glow I'm gonna use this cream blush. So this one is by Nude Sticks. And it is in the shade Sun Kissed. So you can see it just looks like this. There's a little brush on the other end. I don't usually use the brush. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and take a little bit of this. And I'm just putting this on the apples of my cheeks, pulling it back into my hairline. Okay, so next I am going to set my face. Um, if you have dry skin, you can definitely skip this step. I would still recommending recommend setting underneath your eyes so you don't get creases throughout the day. Or you don't have to set your full face. Um, I, like I said, get quite oily, so I am going to set my face. So I'm just using a Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I'm going to take a big fluffy brush here. This one's just by Sephora and just press this all into the skin. I'm gonna set, yeah, I'm gonna set underneath my eyes because I am getting some creases there, unfortunately. I'm gonna take Kylie Cosmetics. This is her translucent setting powder in the shade Translucent. Um, I'm also gonna bake, so I'm going to put quite a bit of powder there and leave it while I finish the rest of my makeup. This is also going to help catch any fallout from eyeshadow. So again, with my beauty blender, I'm going to set underneath my eyes. And I like to take the little point of the beauty blender and right on the corner of my eye and make a line. And that's going to kind of give me a little bit of an idea of how I want my eyeshadow to go. So I don't bring it down too far. Okay, I'm going to con or sorry, not contour. I'm going to bronze the skin next. I'm going to use this Morphe bronzer in the shade Originator. Really nice. It's definitely a dupe for the Marc Jacobs. Um, I think it's. Omega bronzer. It's really pretty, like it's not um, too orange. So again, starting off in the corners of my cheeks, bringing it down along my jawline with whatever left, whatever is left on my brush. And then I'm going to get it the tops of my forehead here. Okay, I'm going to contour just ever so slightly. Um, I'm going to use Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm going to take the contour shade here. So, you can see I love this palette. I'm going to take this one, so it's more of an ashy tone, so it's going to be really, really nice for contouring. And I'm just going to use a MAC 109 brush. And I'm putting this right in the hollows of my cheeks. And then a little bit along my jawline as well. I'm going to use... Um, this Morphe blush palette it is the HW Warm Master palette, and I have this little NARS blush brush here. I'm gonna take the shade Unapologetic, so it's like very like a nude, almost brown. 
which sounds weird, but it's really pretty. And I like to almost go up in a C, like a curve, because that's going to kind of give you like a facelift, basically, which is, who doesn't want that? Okay, so next I'm going to put some highlighter on. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills the Nicole Guerrero palette. This is my absolute favorite palette ever. I always said if they ever brought it back, so this limited edition, I would buy two more. And they did just bring it back, and I bought two more. So this is it here. I'm going to probably use this middle shade and mix it with a little bit of this. So I'm going to mix Forever Young with a little bit of 143. And I'm going to hit down the high points of my cheeks. So now I'm going to bake my contour here. This is just going to make everything a little bit sharper, a little bit cleaner. So I'm just using my translucent powder and putting this right underneath. Okay, so I'm going to move on to eyes. So the main palette I'm going to be using is the Desi and Katie Friendcation palette. This is one by Dose of Colors, and it's a collaboration with two of my favorite YouTubers here on YouTube, Desi and Luster Lux. They are amazing. Start by going in with this light shade here, and that is the shade Basic. in with this shade here called Necessary and I'm going to place this right in the crease. I love this palette. If I were to be traveling and I could only bring one palette, which let's be honest, I definitely wouldn't just bring one palette. Um, but this would be it because you have everything that you really need. You have your basics and then you have a couple darker colors that you could use for nighttime. But then you also have a pop of color. So you have a really pretty royal blue and then a darker navy blue and then also a really pretty um, almost green color. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here and I believe that's called Churro. So any little definer brush is good. And I'm going to put this even lower right in the crease of my eye, right in my eye socket. This is going to define it even more. And I'm going to go in with this shade here. So it is the darker brown and I'm, it's called Cheens. And I'm going to put this on the outer corner of my eye. So to deepen it up and give it a little bit more definition. So now this is the fun part. I am going to use a cream eyeshadow. So this one is by Charlotte Tilbury. It's the color Chameleon Sticks. And this is in the shade Champagne Diamonds. And it's meant for blue eyes, but anyone can use it, I'm sure. And I'm going to put this mainly the first three quarters of my eyelid. I'm going to go in with the shade right here, just a kiss. And I'm going to use just a kiss of it on my lids right on top, just to intensify even more. I'm back in with the darkest shade that we've used and just putting this right in the outer corner again just so we have a nice blend. I'm going to run this along my lash line. I'm actually just going to take 143 and put it right underneath my brow bone. Actually a little bit of glow better too. Just a little mix. And then I'm going to hit that in the inner corner 
excuse me, Miss Ball. I'm gonna go back in with the lightest shade that we went in, um, Necessary. Just a nice light brown. And I'm gonna drag this along my lower lash line. So next, before I go in with mascara, I'm gonna set my face I'm using the Morphe Setting Spray. I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Collection lash craft mascara love this mascara it's definitely a dupe for Too Faced better than sex mascara for sure so i'm gonna go in with the kiki beauty liner this one's in the shade love it's part of her mrs west collection So next I'm going to go in with a liquid, liquid lip. This one's my absolute favorite. It is Kylie Cosmetics in the shade One Wish. This is the absolute most perfect nude for me. It's pink, it's brown, it's not too light, it's not too dark, like just so perfect. And then finally I'm going to go in with the Sephora Collection Lip Gloss. This is in the shade N1, Perfect Nude. And that is it. Thanks guys for watching. Leave a comment down below of videos that you would like to see. And make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you. Bye.